Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How are you guys and girls doing? Hope you're doing great as always. Please check out the description box for all the nice links. Also drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. Check out Discord if you can as well, because that's where we hang out. Here we go. This is video, video 144. And it's going to be all about the enemy system. It's going to be aimed to remove all enemy includes and everything it's going to take care of all the includes for all the enemies itself we're going to define an enemy types enumeration also clean up some old includes that's pretty much going to be it for this video i forgot this card in the last one but last one wasn't all that complicated anyway so let's get started okay so first things first we're going to create a class for our enemy system i'm just going to right click on enemies class and go ahead and call it enemy system Virtual Destructor, Base Class None, just go ahead and press OK. It's going to create this for me. I removed the enemy includes here, as you can see, because I don't want that file anymore. I'm going to go down to my source files, find this here. It always puts it down there for some reason. Just put that in there, and also header files should be here somewhere. Always miss them. Header files, header files, here we go. OK, just going to go ahead and put that in enemy as well. Um, and that should be fine. So we have our constructor and everything. And I have pragma once. Let's do the end if and define stuff. If and def enemy system h define system h and if enemy system h. Good, very nice, very nice. Now private std vector boom we're gonna need a vector of textures because I want to save this vector of textures here so we can easily use it later or not a vector map I think it is map it's a map of textures from outside so whenever we create our enemy system we're gonna just grab that and put it in here so I'm gonna Remember, just remember that. I'm put it in there. We're going to do a map of std string. And let's see the texture sf texture like that. Textures. All right. And there's going to be all the texture sheets that will come with, will come from the outside, from game state. And we're just going to put them in. Put them into the CPP file as well, enemy system CPP, and we should be good to go. So this was the first step. Now we do need to do this. Textures equals textures. Now we can access these here. Another step that, before I forget, we want to create our enumeration. Enum. Enemy types. And this is where we're going to do all our enemy types. Now we do have rat, and that's going to be zero. What else do we have? We just have rat for now. We don't have a basic enemy. We don't need that. Rat's going to be number one. The system is also going to include everything for us. So include rat.h. Very nice. That's how we want it to be done. It includes enemy itself, so it, we don't need to care about that. Rat zero. Nice. Let's start creating some functions. The whole idea with this, this system is to make it easy for us to create enemies and keep track of enemies and all that stuff and just render enemies and all that stuff because we don't want to do that manually everywhere. It might be difficult. We might run into errors. It's going to be a bunch of problems. So we're just going to make sure we have the system where we can easily create enemies and render them and all that stuff. And we'll be able to access these uh, enemies through these vectors as well. Um, and it should, if all goes well with the system, it should be able to keep track of active and inactive enemies as well as the enemy spawner. So I'm going to hold, go ahead and do include enemy spawner tile in here as well. We might need that. I'm not 100% sure yet, but we might need that. Uh, anyway, here, void, create rat. Um, 
there we go or create let's say create enemy short type whoops and this is the one that's going to create our enemy force in this in a in a vector of some sort to do that we obviously need a vector um and enemy pointer like that enemies active enemies easy we're also going to need some functions called void update void render like that all right just doing some cleanup stuff here we're going to need a const float reference delta time as always um very nice very good very good we might not use this a lot we might just get the whole vector of enemies out from here and update them outside because that makes it a little easier to connect with all the the player and the map and everything like that so it makes it a little easier we'll think about that there's a lot of stuff to think about and plan first of all you can't just go ahead and throw stuff in here uh, but for now we'll we'll just try and play around with this sf render target uh, reference or pointer i think we use pointer right target keep it like that for now the most important thing is to be able to create a rat enemy and see it on screen because that's what i want to do that should be done define all of these functions go ahead and hop into enemy system.cpp and this is going to create our enemy for us another easy way to do this is to not have this vector in enemies and actually just get it like this one like the textures thing from outside and we can spawn everything easily into that that vector i think we'll do that instead for now then we don't have to kind of send this in so i'm just gonna copy this control x that put it first here and do a little comma um and we'll keep that actually but we'll make that into a pointer itself go ahead here do the same thing boom comma you're good make that into a pointer and right here as well make that into a pointer to that um very nice very nice so we're getting those in here very good this active enemies equals active enemies and now we should be able to point to that vector itself very nice very good uh, another good way to do this is actually using references i didn't really think about that actually we should we should be using references instead look this is great let's just do that let's use references on all of these just switch out all these pointer things to references but the only difference is going to be we're going to have to use a uh, initializer list. So textures, textures, active enemies, active enemies. That makes life a little easier because then we are forced to provide these things into, into this, into the system. So you can't create an enemy system without those two things. To create a rat enemy, depending on the type, we're going to make a switch case in here. Type. And if the case is enemy types rat, which is zero, we're going to go ahead and break and create a enemy. Default. I think we're just going to do a little error message right there. Something just signifying that, you know, it wasn't possible std c out error uh, enemy system create enemy uh, type does not exist something like that just a nice little error message no i have insert on boom good to go what happens when we have the type rat? Well, we're going to push a new rat 
onto our active enemies list here. So this active enemies dot pushback new rat and then we're obviously going to need all of these things. So what position and all that stuff. And so what we're going to need is we're going to need the type and the position. Const float x const float y pos x pos and then we'll just make this into a const short as well. x pos y pos and the texture sheet. So this that's the texture map that we saved textures uh, rat one sheet I think it was called once that is pushed back we'll just take all of this uh, once that is pushed back we will be able to create an enemy with a specific type now the type is going to help us out to not have to write all this manually and if we want to do something special when we're creating a rat we can do all that in the system create all kinds of functions in here make it a lot easier for us to to handle all these enemies and everything the rendering and stuff in, in in itself might be a little tough because of the way we render stuff but for now at least this part will make it a little easier for us uh, once the enemy system is complete we need to start cleaning up so i'm gonna go ahead and open up my game state h and cpp and in here we should be seeing some errors like for example down here okay so in tile map is where we actually include the enemies the enemy system and everything um pretty sure we're gonna have to keep it there since we're using enemy in here as a pointer and we're updating the tiles and sending that in there that is very nice uh, I'm going to go ahead and include it here include enemy system dot h and then all the errors in here should be solved shouldn't be a problem now everything should work as possible or as as it should let's go ahead and try yeah that works okay so that's good it's spawning our stuff the way we want it the only, pro only problem is that tile map is spawning stuff um the old way so we're not actually spawning enemies through our enemy system right now it's pushing back stuff manually if we were to create a enemy system in game state uh, enemy system system enemy system easy peasy all right very simple and then we should go into the constructor of game state. We need to go here and see in what order it does stuff. Okay, so here we go. If we were to create a private function that initializes the enemy system and call it, then we'll just we'll know that that's happening. So void init enemy sys system. And we probably want to do that more on a system level here like around textures pause menu shaders like after shaders almost before tile map at least somewhere around there so we'll init the enemy system this enemy system equals new enemy sys enemy system uh, this textures this active enemies of course i did it the other way around it should be active enemies first and then this textures now it won't complain now we have our enemy systems created before we do anything we need to call it here after we initialize textures we're right where did we do right before tile map this init enemy system call it and then also delete enemy system delete this enemy system I'm going to actually put all the enemy stuff right here just so that our tile map doesn't mess up. All right, enemy system. So go ahead and click on tile map, update tiles, where we actually send our, uh, all the textures and everything. Now we only have to send in one thing here, and that's going to be the enemy system. Uh, pointer enemy system. Very nice. Or a reference to it. A reference is even better. 
So we force that down, put it into the CPP file, beautifully right here. Amazing, look at that. Amazing, right here. Remove all of this crap. There you go, so easy. Go ahead down here. Now this is fine, we can just remove that. And instead of anything else here, we're just going to do enemy system dot create enemy rat. And this rat is going to be created at this position. X multiplied by this grid size F and then Y multiplied by this grid size F. Much easier, much less parameters to worry about. Also remove these things. We don't need those. It's just going to cause other problems now we can go down and updating the tile map here is also gonna you know want a enemy system okay reference good just dereference that and you're good to go new game and you see a rat spawn there you go there you go guys and girls uh was a little tough doing this got some bugs and errors but hopefully it's going to work now and we can create easily create more types of enemies and spawn them. That was the whole point of the video. Well, there you go. Thank you so much for watching. Check out the description box. Drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. Check out Discord as well. And just thank you in general for all your support. Take care. I'll see you guys and girls in the next one, right? Bye-bye.